Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. Last time, we fought an Elder Dragon and cleared out Silent Moon's camp. This time, our target is Bleakwind Basin. This little giant camp. Let's do as much as we can without turning anyone hostile. Catching butterflies. Harvesting mushrooms. More tapanella. Two bleeding crown. Mammoth cheese. There's a Nern root over close to the pond. Oh, and I forget, these guys have already been hurt because they participated in the dragon fight. That's right. That will certainly redound to our benefit. But there are dragonflies above the water and fish in the water, so... There are the other fish. Still hear a dragonfly somewhere. Oh. That has scared it off. Two more bleeding crown over on this end. And I thought I saw more butterflies up here. I did. I was not hallucinating. Let's go catch them. That always redounds to our benefit. Another more tapanella over here. Then... Here toward the... Just kind of circling around the camp right now. Another bug spawn point is over here. Let's, come on. We can get that blue butterfly. I know we can. Aw, oh, come on. There we got it. Good. There's another one. They almost always come in threes. And there are the other two. Good. That's... That's the Western Watchtower. Where we fought Mermelnir, our first dragon. He actually had a name. Every dragon since then has just been generic. Let's kill these two mud crabs. I want to clear the land space between the main road and this giant camp, and the advantage of doing that is that we'll have fully explored everything. There's an elk over there. Don't mind if I do. Give one mud crab the treatment before I go after that elk. Pay attention. I think there's just a lot of space between here and Whiterun that I still haven't explored, so I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for anything useful that could be over here. More Tapanella. There's the elk. Nobody will cough up that last small antler I need, it seems. There's a deer. I feel like we're close enough for him to run. Let's save our strong arrows. Pretty sure we can handle him with iron. Well, that was a pretty worthless kill cam, if I do say so myself. Just gotta get that last shot off faster. Or maybe I can go get behind it. So I can definitely one-shot them anytime I get the sneak bonus. There we go. That's what I'm about.
No antlers. Bollocks. Okay, I think that about covers it. We do still have one mud crab to reanimate. And we'll do that as we circle back, I suppose. Yep, can see the wall from here, back in familiar territory. So, let's grab this lavender. Oh, there too. What do you know? Mine this iron ore vein. It's a little new to me. And... Always be sneaking, because you never know when you spot another animal. Wrong direction there, friend. That raised archery to 27, and we gained a level. Put the point in stamina, and hold the perk. We are now at level 48. This is good. And there is the last small antler I need. Those are now off the list. Perfect. What am I seeing there? Another elk. That one seems to be on the run, though. Two mountain flower and the lavender here. Another elk, also on the run. Three more mountain flower and a lavender. If that one has stopped, I should be able to bag it. Perfect. Here's a corundum vein. That looked like two, but it's just one big one. Now that one has stopped. Cool. Two more dead elk as we make our way back over. What sees me? What? Seriously, what? I don't see anything around. Three tundra cotton. Ah, saber cat. Now we'll deal with him in a moment. First. Let's reanimate our second mud crab. We've completed the circle. And accomplished a lot for a short, random wilderness run. Sneak to 87. Love that. Love it, love it, love it. Conjuration to 70. Love that too. And... Let's loot up the two elk. There they go. There they are. I am going to get Soul Trap ready. Because I have just remembered. Um, now that I finally found them, the floodgates are open. Small antlers everywhere. I'm carrying an empty, lesser soul gem, which is the perfect size for a saber cat. Well, let's go rumble with this clown. Last mistake running over here, broski. There we go. And of course, he does not give us a tooth. Just a fucking eyeball. Saw another tundra cotton over here. 
And now we need to resurrect him. And then I think we're ready to actually get back get back to the giant camp. I don't see anything else that demands my attention. Let's get ready to go right here. completed the circle. Explored just about everything east to west up to this point, so... Let's head into the camp. Now the mammoths are a higher level. They're a grand soul where the giants are only a greater. But I would say the giants are definitely a bigger threat and merit being taken out first. But maybe I still don't quite need to do that. Got mammoth cheese. Two more bowls of mammoth cheese. And hey, that dead one gave me a saber cat tooth. That's good. Only 24 to go. We can go ahead and raise him before we turn anybody hostile. That way we can treat him properly. Oh, he didn't like that. Raising him is going to turn everyone hostile, so I guess we need to do it after the rumble. Hey, there's an expert locked chest here in the center. I'm going to save that for very last. I'll go ahead and break my lock picks, though. Okay, well, let's see. We got two samples of charred skeever here on the fire. I'm getting dangerously close if I don't want him to turn hostile. But maybe I don't mind. So now we've done everything except raising the cat and killing him. The mammoths haven't turned hostile. Well, that's great news, make no mistake. <laughs> That didn't turn out so well, did it? Come! No. I'd like to gain some armor skill, but I need to be more careful than that. I can't just get whaled on by giants. Or I'll be dead very quickly, even on a dead, as you can see. Attacking. I don't know why, but that's a huge blessing. I'll be right back. Sorry about that hiccup, but now we are back to it. I guess I can heal. And that would probably be a wise choice. The main problem is that we're having to use a crummy weapon. I hate. Too slow. No maneuverability. Oh, heavy armor went to 56. That's good. Oh, that's nice. I guess I have to be They showed up in their camp and started the fight. Let's try healing some more.
want to stay away from those mammoths. It's an excellent stroke of fortune that they didn't join the fight. And I'm not too keen on changing it. Oh, well. Of course that can happen. Come on, dude. <laughs> well, maybe I spoke too soon. As we know, that's easier said. Good lord. Every time I manage to dodge one, the other one connects. What I could really use is a good striking advantage, but I'm not really seeing one. Every time I try to get one, they run away. Hey, here we go. Two hands up to seven. Well, they found their way to hit me. But, well, you know what? We got a skill rank. On that, we did a crap load of damage. in favor of these swords. They do a lot of damage when you connect. It's worth remembering I have zero perks in two-handed. Should be cleared. It is. So let me go take it off of that list. And then let's also heal up. But we have cleared the wind basin. There's the chime. Let's search the giants now. Leather helmet, mammoth tusk, steel mace. Giant's Toe, 308 gold. Steel Mace, Cowhide, Deerhide, Giant's Toe, Gold, Tusk, Leather Boots. You know, if the Mammoths want to stay docile, good. Well, nah. We're supposed to fight the Mammoths, and so we will. Well, let's go ahead and resurrect the Saber Cat first. I only see one. Oh, there they are. Three mammoths are also residents of this camp. Unlike the two I saw just wandering the wilderness, I think I will fight these. It's because it's a very fortunate glitch that they elected not to join the battle when we fought their giant masters, but a glitch it nonetheless remains. The 
first, we're just waiting to treat the tiger. Still, that went faster than I thought it would, and that's a good thing. Make no mistake. Start with the injured mammoth. It'll be easiest, and I think as soon as the fight starts, his two buddies are good. As you can see, they may be higher level. They have grand skills instead of greater. But they are not as dangerous. That should be fairly easy to see. And it's now mammoth tusk. Two more to kill. Heavy armor, 57. So he was already badly injured, but I want a straight fight with him using pretty shitty equipment. Using pretty shitty equipment I have no perks in. That is also important. Two mammoths left to kill. Then it's just offloading and crafting. Faster than they look, and they also have more range than you think they do. But they aren't that tough to kill. You can take a lot more hits from them. Two-handed went to 75, as you saw, and we have dropped the second mana, only one to go. Restoration to 34. Good, good, good. Snout and a tusk. Pretty typical for dropping one of them. Alright. Let's get our great sword out, see if we can't deal with it. He's by himself now. Mammoth is down, snout and a tusk. All that's left is to heal up, open the chest, and run back to town. Easy as pie. Well, let's unlock the chest. Expert lock, so it will be kinda tough. But not that bad. Not as bad as a master at any rate. <sighs> okay. I'm in a bit of a hurry and I need to settle down. Got it. Lock picking to 55 gold, iron war axe, and this is exceedingly valuable anyway, an ebony shield, but I don't have resist frost. So we need to chanting as part of our session. 
Hey, there's a box over here. And this is here. What is it? Apparently nothing. Just a box sitting here. Alright. Oh, good. That whole fight only took about ten minutes. I was expecting it to take longer. I'm glad it didn't. So we begin, as ever, with an offload. Most shops are closed, but we can visit Elrindir, our old reliable 24-hour merchant. Ah, hello. Take a look. All right, bro. What do I have for you? Iron war axe, two steel mace, leather boots, leather helmet, some food, and that's it. Thank you very much for your patience. Do I have any clutter? Yes, I have mammoth tusks. So I will need to wait until morning and visit Bellathor. I have some other stuff I just want to sell. Let's start by offloading. The ingredients go in here. What did I find that was useful? I think... Just the one small antler, so two can go in there. My cursor jumped, as it's wont to do, but I need to hold on to that saber cat tooth. And all that. In here, we can, for now, drop the ebony shield and the lesser soul gem. Over here, we can drop a Crundamore is just vendor trash. But I can drop the one spare ore. Cow hide, all the deer hide, the iron ore, the saber cat pelts. All go in there. Your sword and your Nothing for here, but let's do check Lucia's chest. Brave is a big if I can get past Kit to get to it. Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. I don't have any new dragon parts, or Falmer helmets, which is all that's left that would go in there. Alright. Now well, let's wait until 8am, so we can finish off loading with our buddy Bellator. I am your sword and your shield. Then, I'm going to sweep through and buy everything that's useful for my entire crafting session and make it part of the offload. So. Hope being that, of course, that we can speed along progress in those crafting skills. Honored to see you again, my fame. Okay, let's begin by smelting that one. You're someone bit who of can get things into done. An ingot. I like them. So I have no use for it, save to sell it. That's some good pe I don't claim the finest weapons and armor. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Now, what do I still have to sell? Just mammoth tusks and mud crab legs. I can remember that. Mm. Blades, helmets, All right. pretty much Let's buy everything that's enemies. currently useful in crafting. So you need to think in terms of which perks you have and can use. Dwarven metal ingots are useful, so I'm going to buy them. Iron ingots are useful, so I'm going to buy them. Iron ore is useful, so I will buy it. Leather and leather strips are useful, so I will buy them. Moonstone is not useful. Orichalcum is not useful. Quicksilver is not. Malachite is not, Moonstone is not, Silver Ore is, and Steel Ingots are. And actually I should stock up on Orichalcum, because it will be useful, even if it isn't already. And for the same reason I should stock up on Ebony. There we go. Until next time. Let's do the same thing with Oak Birth. Got looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Dwarven metal is useful. Iron is useful. Leather is useful. Strips are useful. Malachite is not, silver ore is, and steel is. Okay. Good doing business with you. Elrendir sells nothing that would be useful in crafting, so we can skip past him. I ain't asking for much, just a few septums. Adoria, Carlotta, and Fralia, and Holda. All sell nothing that is useful in terms of crafting, so we can safely skip them. Everything's for sale. I'd even trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Could still be selling stuff I actually need, and even if not, he sells things that are useful. Pelts are useful. Oh, empty soul gems are useful, as are filled ones. Iron ore is useful, soul gems are useful, pelts are useful. Okay, next, let's sell him our mud crab legs and our five mammoth tusks. That's it for him. Do come back. Let's visit Arcadia. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then. All of this is useful, obviously. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. And if we go visit Farengar. Hail companion. And Yorlin. Can't forget Yorlin. They'll all have useful stuff as well. Yesterday I saw a dragon fly right over the city. Headed northeast. Lufardgar first. Then Yorlin on the way back. Need a blade? You should talk to Adrian at the forge. Your children? Your very lies? Circle stones to the southwest. 
That's Secunda's kiss. The giants hold it safe. Tread carefully. All right. Buy out Farngar, buy out Yorland, drop off all those purchases, and then do what'll probably be the biggest crafting session so far. Divine smile up. So you wish to master the arcane arts? Arangar. I want all of these. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the mages' college of Winterhold. Then, if I end up maxing out enchanting and I have empty soul gems in my inventory. If I max out smithing and I have spare materials, well, just use them up anyway. Consider it a way to make money. Because even after all this, we'll have spells and property to spend money on. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drunken brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandage raid. I only consider it worth spending money on training if. All your crafting skills are maxed, you have everything you need for every quest, you have every spell, and you have all of the property with all of the upgrades. Then, and only then, can you spend money on trading. Got a lot of stu- Gods be praised. Yorland, I would like your ebony ingots. They will be useful. Eventually. We have to get smithing to 80 before it happens. But once smithing is at 80, they will be useful. As you can see, it takes it took me about what thirteen thousand gold to buy everything that would be useful in crafting. But mm -hmm. uh oh, over encumbered. That's okay. I wasn't paying enough attention to even think about that. But it's not a big deal. Some stuff, like orichalcum and ebony, I'm really just saving. We'll hit 50 smithing very soon and the orichalcum will be useful. Ebony won't be useful until we get smithing all the way to 80. But, once it does hit 80, having that ebony on hand will make those last 20 points come much faster. My favorite drink, everybody. Let's get some meat. Go cost your fancy magic someplace else. Oh, well, we'll just creep back down to our house until we're able to offload everything. I work with my mom to sell fruits and vegetables. It's fun most days, but hard work. Come to chat with all the women. Do your good deed for the day. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. <coughs> what are you looking at? I'm not afraid of you. Pardon no. me? Even if you are my elder. 
nearly home. Yeah, that's good. So I don't think we got anything useful from anybody. So all of Arcadia's ingredients can go in here. Adventure. All filled soul gems from Farangar can go in here. Thank you. And I took an arrow in the knee. And all smithing supplies can go in here. Next phase is to go put on the warrior stone, and then come back and plan out our smithing. You couldn't the warrior stone. Back to White Run we go. Keep your hands to yourself. First we resurrect the well rested bonus. Kind of gonna need to do this in phases, just so my mind can keep track of it all. Oh, but look here: torch bug, thorax, small pearl, blue dart wing, butterfly wing, beehive husk, and silver ore. Thank you, Lucia. That is all useful, and you got it to us just in time. The silver ore goes in there. All of the ingredients go in here. I will head upstairs, rest for one hour. What do you need, my Thane? Honored to see you, my Thane. And get ready to smith. Let's start with the simplest thing, leather. Let's get out all the pelts. All of the actual leather. And all of the strips. And let's go to work. Take as many leather bracers as we can to start off. So. I have 84 leather and of what? 70 strip? 72 strips. So 84, 72, 83, 76, 82, 80, 81, 84, 80, 88, 79, 92, 78, 96, 74, 100, 73, 104, 72, 108, 71, 112, 70, 116, 69, 120, 68, 124, 67, 128, 66, 132, I think that's it, and that's exactly, so we can make 66 leather bracers, nope, nope, I miscounted, 69 and 132, Sixty-eight and one hundred thirty-six. That's also exactly double. There we go. Right, right. Sixty-eight leather bracers. Here they come. Just like that, our ore calcum is going to be useful.
see that? That's what I'm talking about. Nothing but a shitload of leather. The smithing's already at 54. Which means we are going to jump in here. And we are going to take orcish smithing. Let me make note of that. Alright. Let's do the next simple one. Our next simplest one. Which will be making arrows. So for that... 14 dwarven metal. Plus 61 iron is 75. Plus 3 orichalcum is 78. Plus 11 steel is 89. Means I need 89 firewood. That's a lot of chopping. Then all this weight just disappears because it turns into arrows. 89 wood, that's... Trying to think. 45 total chops. Three chops in an animation, that's 15 animations. Well, there's nothing to do but just sit through it. We do get the wood for free. I tell you what, though. Hell no, I shouldn't off-screen it, because... I'm also going to spam my magic of all that goes. 85. 83. I'm worried a vampire might attack while I'm doing this. One. Sixty-seven. Sixty-five. Alteration to 54. Fifty-seven. 
55. Actually, a little worried I might lose my well rested bonus. This shouldn't take eight hours though. Not even in game hours. 49. Forty-seven. Forty-three. Forty-one. I'm sorry, I know it's tedious, but you see the payoff, right? Look how much smithing we got just with the leather. Thirty-nine. Thirty-seven. Thirty-five. Thirty-three. You have no idea how I wish I could just attack the block with the axe. 31, like we do with four veins in the pickaxe. And we'll speed this along substantially. But it's not that much left. 29. Twenty-seven. Good news is after this, I will never have to feel bad about using decent arrows again. Seventeen. It'll make hunting game a lot easier. Fifteen. Excuse me. Thirteen. Eleven. Two more animations. Two more shops. Died. Five more animations. Six. 
seven. This is the last chop. Three. One. And minus one. We're going to end with one extra. That's okay. I'm frozen. My computer's not frozen. But I'm frozen. don't know what's happening. Let me try reloading, see if that fixes it. No, I can't unstick. I guess I need to move to somewhere in order to unstick myself. Let's move to Bree's home. That should fix it. I just need to look up the, uh... Let me see. Let me just Google what the Breeze Home cell is. If I teleport there, that should work. Let's move ourselves to Lydia. That'll work. I have her ref ID here, which is A2C94. Honored to see you again, my fame. And lo and behold, we can move. Yeah, I don't know why the game stuck. I was petrified the computer had frozen and crashed, and I was going to lose all of that. Uh, no, our player just got animation locked. So I can go ahead and drop off the one extra firewood. And make sure I'm still well rested. And we can go make a bunch of arrows. And then I'm going to pause. Just, you don't need to hear my thought process. I'm going to stare at the cupboard someone and who can get things done. cipher like out you. the ideal transmutation pattern for our jewelry making. Well, let's start with iron. Got 14 of these. 
60 smithing unlocks arcane blacksmith, which I do want eventually, but not right away. And finally, three ore calcum. Smithing is at 61. Well, that would suffice for a level up. So put the point in stamina and hold the perk. Just note that arcane blacksmith is unlocked. And let me open my cabinet and stare at it. And I'll pause the video while I cipher out what and how to transmute. Alright, short hiccup because it's simpler than I thought. I have 16 ores. One is locked into... which means I can make 8 ingots. One of those is locked into being gold because one of those go ores is already gold. So from that we'll make plain gold rings. But the other seven, I want to be silver. So... God damn it, I did not want to do that. Crundum back, ebony back, firewood back. Five garnets back. I'll keep seven of them. Goat hide back. Gold ore can stay. Ah, uh, quicksilver ore goes back. And silver ore goes back. Okay, now let's get the transmute spell ready. Yeah, I only want to turn one of them into gold, so... Let's keep turning the rest to silver. Just turn it all into silver first, and then <coughs> I can change however many I want. In this case, one in the gold. Three. And done. I can take all the silver ore out now. I should have 15 silver and 1 gold. And I probably need to refresh my well-rested bonus. Now that I think about it. Yes. There we go. 14 silver and 2 gold. And we can go back to good old fashioned mage light spamming. Brief is a big meanie. She keeps telling Lars and me what to do. I don't want to play with her anymore. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. So let's make 7 silver ingots and 1 gold ingot. Let's start with the gold rings. 
and that's a better bet than a gold necklace if all you have is an ingot. And then seven silver garnet rings. And one extra point in smithing. Smithing to 62. <coughs> Not bad. Now let's go grab soul gems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus a shield the disenchant. And make sure those all transferred correctly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the shield the disenchant. So all this in hand. Let's go put the mage stone on. Let's go back to White Run. We'll make ourselves well rested again. And do some enchanting. Get some place else. Divine smile on you, friend. We would be wise to wait inside until daytime. You lost. Can I get a few gold to spend? Please? Not right now. Oh. Papa! That big thing in the park looks so sad. Sorry. I'm not trying to sell anything though, so I can get out of here at six. What do you need, my friend? As soon as the sun is up. <coughs> what do you need, my thing? Which beats have to wait until eight. Honor to you. Oh. There you go. I am your sword and your sword. What do you need from me? Honored to see you again, my thing. I am your sword and your shield. Long life. Oh, let's just wait until eight anyway. Long life. Routine is comforting after Honored all. To see you again. Okay. okay, let's go. Brief is a big meaning. He keeps telling lies and lies. Up to Dragon's Reach. I don't want to play with her anymore. Alteration to 55. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else.
I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duty. Well rested with the mage stone on. So, let's enchant. We Come made bracers, reach, arrows, and jewelry. First things first, let's disenchant that ebony shield. And we learn the resist frost enchantment. Delightful. <coughs> now then, the rest of the let me pick warriors. my most expensive jewelry item, which is one of the silver garnet rings. Naturally, put Fortify Sneak on it, conflict has claimed everyone and he's my best soul gem. Enchanting me? to 62. For my books and my no, skills. not resist fire. Fortify Sneak. And Silver Garnet Ring. Enchanting to 63. Enchanting to 64. Gold rings. Enchanting to 65. Excellent. There's a tranquility in magic. <coughs> Simply energy harnessed by those with the will and knowledge to do so. Time for Father alchemy. Says, I'm young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. So let's go put on the thief stone. Return to White Run. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Let's refresh the well rested bonus one more There's time. Someone who can get things done. I like that. gather our ingredients and head to Arcadia's. What do we have? A bee. Three beehive husk. Four bleeding crown. Four blister wart. Twelve blue butterfly wings. Five blue dart wings. Nine blue mountain flowers. Two bone meals. Nineteen butterfly wings. Two charred skeever hides, one charis eggs, two cyrodelic spade tail, one elves ear, one eye of saber cat, one frost miriam, two frost salts, one giant lichen, two giant's toe, one hag raven claw, seven lavender, eight luna moth wing, Four Moritapanella, four Mud Crab Chitin, two Nern Root, one Pine Thrush Egg, twenty-four Purple Mountain Flower, three River Betty, one hundred thirty-nine Salt Pile, one Silver Side Perch, two Small Antlers, one Small Pearl, one Swamp Fungal Pod. Three Thistle Branch, five Torchbug Thorax, fifty-five Tundra Cotton, three Wheat, <coughs> and one White Cap. All right, let's go to work. Our first potion You're a is going to be worth a shitload of money. You're not creeping up on anybody. And we can make two of them. 
Oh, that's fun. Go cast your fancy magic, sir. Two giants. So our first potion is Giant's Toe River Betty Wheat. Two of those, and alchemy raises to 86, no problem. Next potion. River Betty Salt Pile Small Antlers. Uh, small antlers is a new ingredient in terms of us using it, and we learn two effects, damage health and fortify restoration. Not bad, two effects to go. Next, blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower, wheat. Next, we have blister wart, blue butterfly wing, blue mountain flower. I offer remedies for ailments both common and rare. Not bad. Next up. Charis Eggs, Lavender, Nern Root. Nern Root is a new effect, or a new ingredient, in that we haven't used it. And we got two effects, Invisibility and Resist Magic. Two more to go. Next potion. Blue Butterfly Wing, Blue Mountain Flower, Bone Meal. And Alchemy hit 87. Perfect. Next potion, Blue Butterfly Wing, Blue Mountain Flower, Cyrodiilic Spade Tail. Next up, Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower, Silverside Perch. Next, Beehive Husk, Luna Moth Wing, Nern Root. Next, B Giant Lichen Moritapanella. <coughs> I think Giant Lichen was a new ingredient for us. It is, and we got two effects Weakness to Shock and Restore Magicka. So there are still two effects to go. Next potion. Beehive Husk, Purple Mountain Flower, Thistle Branch. Next up, Purple Mountain Flower, Salt Pile, Small Pearl. Next, Charred Skeever Hide, Elves Ear, Mud Crab Chitin. Next, Bleeding Crown, Butterfly Wing, Tundra Cotton. Next, Charred Skeever Hide, Purple Mountain Flower, Thistle Branch. And that raised Alchemy to 88. Beautiful. Next potion. <coughs> Frost Salt's Purple Mountain Flower, Torch Bug Thorax. You'll find tonics. Next. Pine Thresh Egg, Purple Mountain Flower, Swamp Fungal Pod. Hey, look there. So on Pine Thresh Egg, we got Resist Shock. That's only its second effect. Still two more to find. Swamp Fungal Pod, we got Resist Shock and Lingering Damage Magicka. And those are the last two on it. It's off my list. Lovely. Next potion. Hagraven Claw Lavender Torchbug Thorax. To your heart's that got Lingering Damage Magicka on Hagraven Claw. That's its third effect. We still have one more to find. Next, Salt Pile Small Antlers Torchbug Thorax. Next. Lavender Purple Mountain Flower Torchbug Thorax. 
Next. Blue butterfly wing, lavender, tundra cotton. Next. Butterfly wing, eye of saber cat, tundra cotton. Next. Butterfly wing, lavender, tundra cotton. Next we have... Butterfly wing, luna moth wing, tundra cotton. Next up, blue dart wing, butterfly wing, tundra cotton. Next up, butterfly wing and tundra cotton. Next, Mora Tapanella and White Cap. And last, Mud Crab Chitin and Purple Mountain Flower. And that's it. Not bad. So what time is it? 726. What do you need? Well, we can make a few sales. You look ah, so you're an alchemist then. Down I oh I thought I saw a twenty six, but no. It's gonna say I highly doubt I have anything that sells for under twenty seven. Does she have anything I need? Now I'm only looking for stuff on my list. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Nothing for Miss Arcadia. The gods gave you two hands. Let me know if you see anything you like. Let's try Bellafor. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I don't have any weapons to sell. I do have jewelry and bracers and potions. Okay, now well, let's look in here. <coughs> Nothing on any of my lists. Do come. 7.33. Come by I can reset him, so I'll be right back. Bellathor reset, let's begin. I'd even... Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I have some potions that go for under 79, but nothing that goes for under 27. So, does he have anything I'm interested in? Not in there, and not up there, so let's go visit Arcadia. Remember, I'll give you the best. I think we have arrived at the first things I'm going to have to sell below value. You may have noticed a couple of my enchanted rings were trying to retail for 807. But the only people who will buy them are Farangar, Fralia, and Bellathor. Bellathor has the most money of those three at 750. But, no doubt you noticed, that's less than 807. Which means we'll just have to take 750 gold for them and leave it at that. Sad, but it is what it is. Unless, of course, between now and then, at some point, Bellathor has something we want and I can give him a little more money. Anyway, Arcadia had a nightshade. That's good. That's still on my list. I now need eight more of those. Uh, 23 isn't enough to afford anything, so we'll reset them. Be right back. And we're back. I am. <coughs> Take a look. 
32. I think my cheapest potion is 36. So that's that, unless she has something. And she does. Jazz Bay Grapes and a Nightshade. That's good. Now I only need six Jazz Bay Grapes and seven Nightshade. And those will come off my list. So 53. I think she can afford one more somewhere up here. Unless I already sold it. Yeah, I already sold the 50s, so give her the 36 and call it good. Good day. All right, let's try Bellathor again. What about you and your honeyed world? We're gonna run out of time and have to go home. Take a look. Oh, that's okay. Amulet, no. Two glass. Well, that's something. With that, I need 18 more glass. So it's still comfortably on the list. But that's it. 774 still isn't enough. But I can sell him that. He's at 233. 60. 24. And we're done. Next time. Still time for another reset, so I'll be right back. And we're back. <coughs> Welcome! Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. No amulets. And nothing of interest. Well, okay. Ooh, we're up to 544 now, and 812, 206, 42, nope, 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 that's all. Till next time. Need something. Well, let's go visit Arcadia. Time is it 7:51? Probably have time for one more reset, and then we'll have to go home and rest 12 hours until the sun comes up. Maybe. A yes. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? She has a nightshade. That's good. Now I only need six more. But that appears to be all. So, she can take one of those. 165, she can take both of those. And we're done. Let's try and do one more reset before we hit 8 p.m. It's 7.55. We'll probably barely make it to Bellathor. And then I'll go ahead and rest. So, she has absolutely nothing that interests me. Well, that makes this part easy. All right. Mm -hmm. Quickly to Bellathor. Can we make it? I sure hope so. Don't bother sneaking. Run, nay, sprint. What can I do for? You? I know it. Take a look. Yes, we made it. Oh no, we didn't. All right then. What can I do for you? Time to leave, I suppose. Yep. Okay. This just means we need to go rest for 12 hours and come back. You've been a good friend to me. That we'll get a little something. alteration experience while we do it. Only a little, but that little bit adds up over time. In the meantime, we can drop off our excess usable ingredients. As well as all goodies we have found. I am the sword and your shield. Which I think includes some glass and my my ingredients. Yep. All right. Eleven. 
10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Sword and your shield. Six. We did not get to visit Bellathor on this iteration, so we need to do that before we do any more resets. Go cast your fancy magic someplace else. Oh, god damn it. I can't abide you glitching, Bellator. Not now. You gonna tell me I'm not supposed to be here? You're not supposed to be here. Yep. Open your fucking shop like you're supposed to. Dick. Everything. There we go. Trinkets, odds and ends. Okay. That sort of thing. No amulets. Nothing of interest in there. So, let's stick to stuff he can actually afford on the off chance that he eventually Do offers me something back. that gives him enough of a gold cushion. Time to reset. Forgot to save, though. Time to reset. Wrong button. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. I oh a bit of this and a bit of that. No amulets. Nothing of interest here. Let's leave the rings alone. I don't think I have anything that goes for under ninety anymore. Remember, I'll give you the best. So we're done with homeboy here. Let's try Arcadia. Come dragon or if I get all the way, if I get all of my Jasmine grapes and all of my nightshade, she still hasn't ever offered me a single saber cat tooth or antler. Take a look. I'll just have to come to the sad conclusion that she never offers those things. Nothing that interests me. 170. All right, time for another reset. Need a remedy. Back for business. Here we go. Pardon me. You already know. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? What does she have this time? Jazz Bay grapes. That's great. Now I only need five of those. Two slaughterfish scales. That's great. Now I only need seven of those. And that's it. 516. 186 and looks like we're done until next time so we'll go try Bellathor don't think you can barter with me like one of them you might have you just take a look come on ambulance Nope. Shoot. And nothing of interest to me there either. 408, 170. Sixty-three. Next and another reset. Here we are again. Welcome. 
Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. He will not cough up an amulet or goat horn to save his life. Well, consequently, he has nothing that interests me. Till next Let's time. Go to Arcadia. Safe, I hope. Let me know if you see anything you like. I have s maybe I'll take a look. <coughs> Arcadia also has nothing that interests me. Until next time. But we've already, I think, made back all the gold we spent on materials, so as you can see, profit. And we're back. Need something? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Okay, we haven't made it all back yet, but it certainly looks like we will. Oh, uh, let's sell those to Bellathor. 262, 238, 61, that's it. Good day. If I saved these for the Thieves' Guild, eventually I'd be able to sell them to Tonelia, but Thieves' Guild is a long ways off yet. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Of course. If not, let me know. I, I could just toss away. them in with the stolen stuff and I know. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Wait to sell. Wait to sell them. Like I'm waiting to sell that stuff. But I think I'd rather have most of the money now. Oh, I forgot to look. No amulets. And nothing of interest. Okay. 202 and 5. Do Another back. reset. Back in business. Take a look. Nothing good, alas. 328. Okay, off to see Arcadia. Remember, I'll give you the best time. So you're an alchemist then? Well, she has Jazz Bay grapes. That's good. I only need four more now. And that's it. 502. Speech to 74. Take a look. 152. Nope, she's done. Come back anytime so, if you need a remedy. We'll be back. And we're Got back. It. Pardon me. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Nothing. Alright. Good day. To Bellathor. Now <clears throat> Speech went to seventy-four. I'll be really excited when it gets to seventy-five. As, as you might remember, that's another tier of persuasion checks. At 75 speech, we'll be able to pass all of the hard checks. And furthermore, there's only one very hard check in the entire game, and it actually doesn't behoove you to pass it anyway. So, de facto, as soon as we get to 75 speech, we can pass every speech check in the game. Alright, I'm down to only stuff Next that costs over 750, you. so let's be I'll be right back. And we are back. I'm all take a look. Still nothing useful. I'll start by selling him one of these. Alright then. Now I know there's nothing I can sell to Arcadia. I'd rather reset again and get the extra gold from Bellathor. 
But I would still like we'll to keep checking her for somewhere. stuff I need. Maybe I'll... So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? And look at that, a slaughterfish scale. Good. I need six more of those now. Doing pretty darn well Good on day. everything except goat horns and saber cat teeth. <coughs> I keep saying it because hey, it's true. But ultimately, I don't think any of Got the something. important stuff in the hearth firehouses relies on those two things, so if I can't build it right away, it won't matter. Back once more. Got some? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. No, and no. All right, then. And it's down to just the two potions, right? Good. Watch the skies, traveler. Let's check with Arcadia. Good morning. Just for look. useful stuff. Nothing. Farewell. And back to Bellathorn. What is it? Everything's for sale, my friend. Another reset. And we're back. I Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. No amulets and nothing useful. Do come back. But there with that, I think we crossed over my original amount of gold. So our net profit's gonna be kinda small, but if you consider that we were buying you know grand soul gems and ebony ingots like it was nothing. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? And couple that with all the skills that we bought. That's pretty good. She has a Jazz Bay Grapes this time. I only need three more now. Um, that's it, unfortunately. Come back anytime if you need a Only two more resets left. Two potions to sell. Let me guess. Hopefully Bellathor gets it together and gives me some amulets. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. And if not, let me know. Or some fucking goat horns. Back but again. You just left. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. No amulets. Nothing useful. Sold all that, so. One potion. Remember, I'll give you the best deal. Visit Arcadia, and then reset one more time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll only need a few few big home. sessions like sure these Pardon me. and we'll start look. maxing things out anyway she has nothing all right then nothing at all Damn let's do this one more time take a good look around I'm sure you'll once find more with feeling for. once more into the breach here we go Welcome! Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Nothing. Two glass. Well, that's something. I need 16 more glass now. Uh, that is it, huh? Alright, one more visit to Arcadia. Next and then we'll head out and get back to exploring. The real joy of the game for me is in exploring, but as you see, the monsters do get harder. We need to max out the crafting skills and get better gear. Doing so is tedious, but the payoff is huge, and once it's done, the tedium disappears. So she has nothing. Farewell. Okay, let's go back to Bree's home and.
It was the game. The game froze for some reason. I don't know if you could still hear my voice over the frozen game or not. But a good old dose of Control Alt Delete solved the problem, as it so often does. Let's put away our last few purchases. Verify, we've gotten rid of everything. Honor. Refresh our well rested bonus. Again, and let's head back out. Honor. Check Lucia's chest one more time, too. Did you need something, Papa? We are rolling out. So fast travel back to Bleak Wind Basin. Actually, I should have fast traveled back to Western Watchtower. That's okay. Let's just creep down to the Western Watchtower. So our next target is Fort Greymoor. That big dilapidated looking fort out to the west. We're gonna go a place we haven't been in a little while to get there. I'm talking, of course, about the main road. Yeah, I should have just gone to the watchtower. Going to Bleak Wind was a silly move. But it won't really hurt anything. So we have arrived back at the Western Watchtower. Site of our first dragon killing. I see a random encounter up here. I'm not sure who it is. We will find out next time. Well, no, we will find out now. Why are we even going to a wedding at this far flung end of the Empire? Anyway. She's supposed to have a compatriot. Salonia Carvane and someone else. Anyway. Ugh. Speak to my husband if you must. Get away from me, you Skyrim trash. Ugh. Speak to my husband if you must. I don't know where her husband is. He's typically on horseback, close by. I don't know why she's by herself, but they're on their way to Vittoria Vici's wedding in solitude. And that random encounter is titled, On the Way to the Wedding. Pretty straightforward. Anyway, let me point myself in the right direction. Move over to the limits of my prior exploration. And here's an incoming dragon. If he wants a piece, which I suspect he does, we'll deal with it in the next video. And indeed, the next video will begin with another dragon fight. Looks like a frost dragon, which should be a little bit easier than an elder dragon, particularly with the help of the guards. But, that'll be next time. This has been Let's Play Skyrim, Bleak Wind Basin, and an epic crafting session. Next time, a dragon battle followed by Fort Greymore. Until then, thank you all very much for watching, and goodbye.